Okay, well, I'm a project resource officer for the Moodle uh, rollout, and what that basically means is that setting up modules, um, getting materials moved across, and you know helping staff put uh, materials on there, and also doing training with staff and students, producing training materials and all that kind of thing. That's principally what our role is, and I'm the one for engineering and mathematical sciences, so I've been helping the staff in SEMS to get their materials onto Moodle and get up to speed with it, generally. I think something like Moodle is a great resource. It's, um, it adds so much interactivity, uh, or potentially adds so much interactivity to the student experience. It allows staff to make good use of their time. Students can make good use of their own time as well. They can add um, materials and not worry about when the students access them. It's there constantly, wherever the students are. And they can put quizzes and things on there. So what I'm hoping for is just to enhance, not to replace any particular teacher at the moment, but just to add things that complement what they're already doing, be it quizzes or online assessments, videos, whatever. Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, Moodle is quite a, a common system for this kind of thing now. A lot of places are picking it up, so there's a lot of people working on it. Um, certainly places like the um, Open University are a big user, so it's quite geared towards UK higher education, which is good. So obviously um, it fits in quite well here, and it does work particularly well. Um, I think it's generally positive. Um, SEMS hasn't been one of the, uh, the schools that have been a big user of the previous system, City Space, um, for one reason or another. But most of the staff, or I would say the vast majority of staff that have approached and trained and things, have been very pos uh, positive, very interested in what Moodle can actually give them. Um, there are issues at the moment with we're doing most of the training right now, and it's you know, it's summertime, it's people are on holiday and things, so it's. Getting people into rooms for training things right now is quite problematic, but the genuine, uh, the general viewpoint has been very good. Well, at the moment, I'm still working through um, getting the training and things done. It's very early stages at the moment, but I think one of the major positives so far is just working with the staff in several different um, departments within the school: you know, uh, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering. Um, maths and civil engineering and finding out bits mm. about you know what they do and how best to support them and the way that they teach their students has been really interesting. Well I mean, the advice really that I would give is get the training started as soon as possible you know, it's, and keep just keep training. Mm. People aren't around in the summer mm. so it's difficult to get people into rooms to train them and then if you do it too early, by the time you know the actual teaching starts in October or September, they've forgotten how to do things. So you need to just get these things kicked off, the training and all that stuff kicked off early and just keep revisiting it with the staff as much as possible, just to keep them using it and keeping them aware. Something else is just to basically try and find out, again, as I've just said, how they do teach and the ways that they teach and just identify areas that you could assist them with and possibly improve and just help out that way.